Hello and welcome once again to another unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. Welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to this unboxing, unbagging, package, unpackaging. Anyway, uh, the the last time I received, bought uh, this uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which is uh, my favourite knife out of all of my knives that I own. I own a lot check out some of my other reviews and um, the last time I bought this and received it uh, I didn't do an unboxing video and um, I think I got this knife sometime last year probably November maybe December time and I didn't really start recording my videos uh, until December so I didn't do an unboxing video but uh, nonetheless I think many people are interested in in unboxing videos and in uh, paramilitary twos, and I do it for the community. I do it for for you guys who are who like knives. And um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to un unpackage this. And inside here is another paramilitary two, uh, but it's um, it's a different colour and everything. So uh, let's get in here now. I do have to, I think I have some clothes in this package, so I'm just going to be ever so careful. This isn't me. Perped up in the bag or anything, but yeah, I I bought a belt, so we'll see if that fits. I'll let you get a uh, 511 belt. I'll I'll tell you how that that goes. Just my private information there, and I've got some shorts. Whoa, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry about the rustling and things, but there we go. It's just a little. Uh, the light is fading, but I think we've got enough light. If not, I'll just flip the flip, flip the uh, the desk lamp on. So this is the paramilitary two in black. Okay. And that is. Okay, so you might not know this, I don't know, you, you, you might know this. There are two letters on every Spyderco box, and these correspond to when the knife in this package was made. So D uh, would be A, B, C, D, January, February, March, April, and M is of course the year. Because M, 13, is not 13 months. So we've got an April made knife this year. And I'm recording this May the 8th. So last month this knife was made. I've never had one newer than that, I'm sure. Anyway. I'm just uh, stalling the inevitable. Such good boxes, aren't they? Such good boxes, good good for a Spyderco shrine. Here it is. So this is first impressions of a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Yep, classic kind of uh, smell that they have. That this, the military and the paramilitary have, wow. Look at that. Look at that. For perfection. You just cannot beat it. Yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> Is that lighter? No way. No way. Is that lighter? No way. I'm going to have to get the scales out on this one. But anyway, sorry, I'm getting caught up with the knife, as you do. Here's a little plastic wrapper, of course, and uh, this. Uh, greetings from America. The, the CQI, constant quality improvement. And boy, do you do that, Spyderco and crew. Boy, do you do that. You definitely, you stand behind what you say in terms of that. And uh, every company should. Okay. 
Now, this is just because I've got a funny feeling about this. This isn't. This isn't. They are actually different weights, but the black. I've got 109.4 grams, and the normal. <laughs> Actually, this one is lighter. 108. Yeah, okay then. I thought that this one was lighter, but it turns out that this one's lighter. Who knew? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Well, anyway. That's that myth busted. Anyway, back to the knife. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this beauty. I will swap the pocket clip over. But um, that's why I've got two now. Maybe get a third, fourth, fifth. <laughs> you can never have too much of a good thing. Um, this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible, this knife. It's, uh, it's, a, bit, it's a bit sticky. Like, uh, but that will, that will loosen up. Okay. No, that needs... That's tighter, you see, tighter than the. Yeah, that will need. Yeah, that that will need a bit of lubing up. It's probably quite dry, um, but it was only made last month. And this one, oops, one way to break your tip. This one, it's fine. Don't worry, tip's fine as well. But this one's super smooth. I haven't I haven't changed the pivot or anything on this one. And this the new one is uh yeah quite quite stiff. That'll need. Uh, Lubing up and things. You have to do this about five thousand times, approximately, and then you should be good to go. But uh, with the DLC coating, it's just you just can't go wrong. You really can't. With the huge milling inside, the weight, the feel of it, this is just it's, it's, it's almost perfection, really, almost perfection. Um, but yeah, please, Spyderco, this is an excellent, excellent knife. Everybody, lots of knife collectors have said this is an excellent knife. Please, make better steel, make, I don't know, do something else with the, the handles. Do titanium, you know, what, what, what are you waiting for? People will lap it up, they really will. If people are buying more than one of the, the normal edition, or they can afford to, people will buy titanium ones with XHP or M4 or... You, whatever you throw at it, Spyderco, I'm sure people will be there to uh, to buy them. Anyway, so that was just my unboxing of this uh, new Spyderco Paramilitary 2 in all black with the DLC coating. Um, I won't do a review on it because I've done a review on this one. And other than the coating, they're pretty much the same. Although this one's a little bit fatter. <laughs> well, heavier. Anyway, so that's that. That's the unboxing. If you have enjoyed this video... Why not check out all my other reviews and things? Uh, they're of uh, similar quality, similar comedy value. And um, yeah, thanks very much for, for joining me today and watching. Please do comment, rate and subscribe. Take care.